although the earliest pelagosaurs, such as Archaeothyrus from the late Carboniferous and Moranosaurus from the early Permian, were carnivores. From these early carnivorous pelagosaurs would evolve a number of groups, including some which were herbivorous. These would include Edaphosaurus, which possessed a prominent sail, perhaps for either thermoregulation or display. Edaphosaurs were herbivorous, as were the large-bodied uh, caseids, which possessed small heads and included Cotolorhynchus, and forms which get to be four, maybe even more than five meters in length, and were among the largest uh, land animals of their day. More advanced groups of pelicosaurs included the Sphenacodont pelicosaurs, which would be the ancestors of the therapsids and ultimately mammals. Uh, while many of these did not possess elongated sails, uh, this group did include the well-known Dimetrodon, which possessed a very prominent sail and, at three meters in length, was a top predator in its day.